Have you opened? Okay. Who's going to start reading? We have to read. We have to read from here. Good heavens, the vendor said. Okay, Ali Hassan, start reading. Unmute your mic and turn on your cameras, the boys. Yes. Start reading. I once heard her say. One zero four page. Yes, one zero four page. Second last paragraph. On the screen, you can also read from the screen, but your books must be with you so that you can note down the important meanings. Good heaven, Lehman said. I once heard her say. Lavender said. Hortensia. Hortensia went on that a large boy is about the same weight as an Olympic Olympic. hammer. Mm -hmm. Olympic hammer, Olympic, Olympic hammer. hammer, and therefore oh, he very useful for practicing with. Practicing with. At the point something strange happened. The playground, which up to then had been filled with shrieks and the shouting of children at play at all, all at, at once, all, all at, at once. once. All at once okay. became silent as the grave watched out Hortensia, Wizard, Whisper. Matilda, and Matilda Whisper. and Lavender glanced Dance. around and saw the gigantic finger. Gigantic, 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 gigantic finger of Miss advancing through the crowd of boys and girls with menacing, menacing strides. strides. The children drew back hastily. Hastily. To... Hastily. Hastily. Hastily means hastily. hurriedly. Okay? Hurriedly. Quickly. Hmm. Hastily to let her through and her progress uh, across the Alfred Asphalt Alfred 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 was like that of Moses going through the Red Sea when the waters 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 parted, waters parted a, a formidable finger formidable Finger she formidable. was formidable. 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 Finger she was figure. Figure. Finger. She was too in her battled smoke and green breeches below the knees. Her calf muscles. Calf muscles. Calf muscles. Calf muscles stood out like grapefruit. Grapefruits. Grapefruits. Grape Roots inside, inside her, her inside stocking. her stocking. Amanda Thrift, Thrift. She was shouting, "You, Amanda Thrift, Thrift. come here! Hold your heads for what happened? Levered, levered with her back." Lavender, 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 hmm. whispered, lavender, whispered back, whispered, 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 whispered back. The I don't, Amanda, that, 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 listen, read properly, that idiot, that idiot, Amanda, that idiot, Amanda. Hortensia said, has let her long hair grow even longer during the holes, and her mother ha has plain it, plaited it, plaited it, plaited 
it into pigle pigtail pigtail it into pigtail silly thing to do why silly matilda ask okay if okay lesson hi first i will explain till here now I once heard her say Hortensia went on that a large boy is about the same weight as an Olympic hammer and therefore he's very useful for practicing with. So Hortensia said that I have heard that the weight of a boy is just like the hammer. So Olympic hammer and it is very good that you can practice with that large boy. Like you can throw the large boy in the hair by whisking it round and round. At that point something strange happened. The playground which up to play all at once became silent as the grave grave in which a person is buried now what happened at that point what happened everything everybody remained silent that something uh, like they are in the graveyard okay everyone became quiet watch out hortensia whispered whispered means to speak in a low voice Matilda and Lavender glanced round. Glanced means look. They looked round and they saw the gigantic figure of Miss Trunchbull advancing through the crowd of boys and girls with menacing strides. Menacing means threatening manner. Like you are going to hurt somebody. You are coming towards somebody in order to hurt. So when Matilda and Lavender, they looked round, they saw... Miss Trunchbull, she was coming with heavy steps through the crowd. She was walking through the crowds of boys and girls. Strides means steps, walking steps. Please note down the meanings. The children drew back hastily. Hastily means hurriedly, quickly. To let her through and her progress across the asphalt was the like that of mosses growing through the Red Sea when the waters parted. So they have given the example of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. Moses means who was Moses? Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. When the waters parted and when he was going through the Red Sea. A formidable figure. Last time I've told you formidable, formidable means powerful. In her belted smock and green breeches. Breeches means trousers. She was dressed up in a uh, skirt and green trousers. Below the knees, her calf muscles stood out like grapefruits inside her stockings. Amanda Thrip, she was shouting. You, Amanda Thrip, come here. So she called a girl. Her name was Amanda Thrip. She didn't call, she shouted at her. Hold your hats. Hold your hats means now see what is going to happen. Be careful. What's going to happen? That idiot Amanda has let her long hair grow even longer during the whole Holes means holidays. It's a short word for holidays. And her mother has plaited it into pigtails. In the picture, you can see that the girl is having the pigtails. Pigtails the form of the hair. Okay? Her mother has uh, made her hair into two plaits. This is known as pigtails. Silly thing to do. Why silly? If there's one thing the trench pull can't stand, it's pigtails, Hortensia said. So Hortensia said that Miss Trench Pull, she cannot stand pigtails. She doesn't li like this uh, form of hair. Yes, now who will read? Raise your hands. Yes, Mudassir. Mudassir and mute your mic and start reading. Why silly? Matilda asked. If there's one thing that Ranch Pool can, can stand in, it's pigtails. It's, it's uh, pigtails. Hortensia said. Matilda and Lavender saw the giant in the green breeches. Uh, Advanced Bridge is advancing, advancing upon a, a girl of about 10 who had a pair of plated golden, plated golden pig, pig tail, tails hanging over her uh, shoulders. Each pigtail had a blue, blue stain. 
like she is about to crush her or do very bad to her and the expression on her face was one that you might find on the face of a person who is trapped in a small field with an enraged bull enraged means full of anger so it, it she was just looking like that she is the person who is trapped in somewhere where there is a bull a very angry bull which is coming towards her the girl was glued okay the girl was glued to the spot terror struck pop eyed quivering terror struck full of uh, full of uh, terror means scared pop eyed your eyes are bulging out and quivering sh shivering trembling trembling with fear knowing for certain certain means sure that the day of judgment had come for her at last she was just like that for her the day of judgment had come Miss Trunchbull had now reached the victim and stood towering over her. I want those filthy pictures off before you come back to school tomorrow. She barked. So she barked that I want you to cut the pigtails. These dirty, filthy means dirty pigtails. Chop them off and throw them in the dustbin. Chop means cut. Okay, like we chop the vegetables. Chop them off and throw them in the dustbin. You understand? Amanda, paralyzed with fear, right, managed to stutter. Stutter means to speak with difficulty. She was so much scared. At last, she tried to say something. My mummy likes them. She flats them for me every morning. Your mummies are twit. Twit means foolish person, silly. So she at last said that her mummy likes to. Her mummy loves pigtails, and she likes to flats them. For ever, for her every morning. The trench will bellow. She pointed a finger the size of a salami. Salami is a kind of a <clears throat> food or a dessert. Okay, sausage. It's just a sausage. Sausage which is eaten in slices. Okay. <coughs> As the child's head is shown, shouted, "You look like a rat with a tail coming out of its head." My mummy thinks I look lovely, Miss Trunchbull. Amanda started shaking like a blind man. Blind man is also a dessert. Okay, dessert which is made of um, corn flour and uh, sweet and milk. Now, yes, Musaf, you can start reading. Unmute your mic, Musaf. Okay, Kinza, you can start reading. Okay. Who is reading first? Now, yes, Kinza, you can read first. I don't oh. give a tinkers. I, uh, I don't give a tinkers uh, what, what your mo mommy thinks. The Frenchman yelled and with that she lunged forward and lunch. grabbed hold of lunch. 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 forward lunged forward and grabbed hold of Amanda's pigtail in her right fist and lifted the girl clear off the ground. Then she started swinging her round and round her head. Faster and faster, and Amanda was screaming, "Blue murder!" And the trashman was yelling, "I'll give you pigtails, you little rat!" She heads of the Olympics, Hortensia Mohamed. She's getting up now, just like she does with the hammer. Then to one, she's going to throw her. And now the trunchbull was leaning back against the weight of the whirling girl and pivoting expertly on her toes, spinning round and round. And soon, Amanda Thrip was traveling so far she became a blur. And suddenly, with a mighty grunt, the trunchbull let go of the pigtails, and Amanda went, feeling like a rocket, right. 
one of the wire fence of the playground and high up into the sky. Yes. Well, thrown, sir. Someone should shouted the from across the playground, and Matilda, who has mesmerized by the whole crazy affair, saw Amanda trip descending in a long graceful parabola onto the playing field beyond. She landed on the grass and bounced three times, and finally came to rest. Then, amazingly, she sat okay, up. Okay. Thank you. Now, Musaf, you start reading. Finish it, then I will explain. Then, amazingly, she sat up. She looked a triple days and who and who could blame her? But after a minute or so, she was on her feet again and tottering back towards the playground. The trunchbull stood in the <coughs> playground, dusting off her hand. Not bad, she said, considering I'm not in strict training. Not bad at all. Then she strode away. She's mad, Hortensia said. But don't the parents complain, Matilda asked. Would, would, yours, would yours, Hortensia asked. I know mine wouldn't. She treats the mothers and Fathers just the same as the children, and they are, uh, and they'll all scared to death of her. I'll be seeing you sometime, you too. And with that, the sh sauntered okay. away. She okay. sauntered away. Okay. Now, uh, first, let me explain. Then I will tell you the chapters for the midterm, so that you can put a tick mark on it. And students. Uh, you also need to tell me ke how many notes you have made of the reader and the remaining notes I'm going to send you, okay? Now, I don't give a tinker's tooth what your mommy thinks, the trench pull yield. It's an idiom, a tinker's tooth, tooth means that you, I don't give something to it. Like, I don't care whatever your mommy thinks. And with that, she lunged forward and grabbed hold of Amanda's picture tails in her right fist and lifted the girl player off the then she just uh, moved forward and she picked up amanda from the ground with her pigtails then she's then she, then she started brown only then she started swinging her round and round her head then she started moving her around her head faster and faster and Amanda was screaming, blue murder, and the Trunchbull was yelling, I'll give you pigtails, you little rat. And Miss Trunchbull, what happened? She picked up Amanda from the ground and she started swinging her round and round her head. And then she let her go. Shades of the Olympics, Hortensia murmured. She's getting up speed now, just like she does with the hammer. So Hortensia said she's remembering her Olympic days when she, uh, you know, uh, pick up the hammer and whisk it round and round faster and faster and then let it go 10 to 1 she's going to throw her and now the trench bull was leaning back against the weight of the whirling girl and pivoting expertly on her toes pivoting means like you are standing on your toes like you are dancing on your toes spinning round and round and soon amanda thrip was traveling so fast she became a blur and then she let she was uh, moving her so fast that the children could not see her properly. She became a blur. Blur is something which is not clear. And suddenly, with a mighty grunt, the trench bull let go of the pigtails. Amanda went sailing like a rocket right over the wire fence of the playground and high up into the sky. And suddenly, she let her go and Amanda just went up into the sky like a rocket. Well thrown, sir, someone shouted from across the playground. And Matilda, who was mesmerized by the whole crazy affairs, Matilda, she was shocked. Your mesmerized means like you, uh, you cannot say anything. You are just looking at something. You're mesmerized by it. So Amanda Thrim descending in a long graceful parabola onto the playing field beyond. And she saw her uh, going on the other side of the playground and landing there. She landed on the grass and bounced three times like when you 
uh, throw a ball, the ball bounces two or three times, like go up and down, up and down. And then the same thing happened with uh, Amanda Thrip. She bounced three times and finally came to rest. Then amazingly, she sat. She looked a trifle dazed, a little bit uh, dazed. Dazed means like you are, uh, you cannot think properly, okay? And who couldn't blame and who could blame her but after a minute or so she was on her feet again and tottering back towards the playground and matilda was also amazed to see the little girl that she was just a little bit dazed and then she after just after a minute she was standing on her feet and started moving back towards the playground the trench bull stood in the playground dusting off her heads not bad she said considering i'm not in strict training not bad at all then she strode away strode away means walked away she's mad hortensia said but don't the parents complain matilda asked matilda was very much surprised and she asked hortensia don't the parents complain would yours hortensia asked hortensia asked that would your parent your parents would complain I know mine wouldn't. She treats the mothers and fathers just the same as the children. They're all scared to, of, to death of her. She said that all the parents of the children who are coming to the school, they're scared of Miss Trunchbull because she treats them in a similar manner as she treats the children. I'll be seeing you sometime, you two. And with that, she sauntered away. Sauntered away means walked away in a slow manner. Okay, now, children, how many chapters we have done, please? Uh, Take out your table of contents. Put a tick mark on the chapters which are going to come in the midterm exam and which we have done. Chapter number one. Have you taken out the table of contents? The reader of books. Chapter number two. Mr. Wormwood, the great car dealer. Chapter number three. The hat and the super glue. Chapter number four. The ghost. Chapter number five. Arithmetic. Then cross the sixth one. We haven't done it. The platinum blonde man. We haven't done it. Then chapter number seven, Miss Honey. Then eight, the crunch bull. Then nine, the parents. And then ten, throwing the hammer. Okay. So uh, we have total nine chapters for midterm exams. Uh, except the platinum blonde man. You have to do all the chapters from the reader of books till throwing the hammer. You can start reading of these because unseen questions can also come. Okay, so please read all these chapters again. Next week is will be your test. I'll send you uh, the things, the chapters which I'm going to take a test of. Now we are going to start our conjunctions which we have been doing. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, some chapters, uh, question answers, uh, we have, haven't done. I'll send you the notes, don't worry. Okay. Okay, okay now, uh, last time on Monday, I started this chapter, conjunctions, chapter number 17, and uh, I've discussed all the types and the definition as well. But very few students were present on that day, and... Uh, so that is why I'm doing it again, but not every time I'm going to do it. Okay, so you need to be present, especially now when I think one or two chapters are left of grammar only, then our revision is going to start. Okay, so I want all of you to present the revision days. Now students, what is a conjunction? Uh, conjunction is a joining word. It joins words, phrases, and clauses. It joins sentences. Okay? Whenever we use the word conjunction, it means that we, you are going to join something. You are going to join the two sentences. You are going to join the two phrase, uh, clauses. Okay? Or words. The different conjunctions are and, but, because, yet, so far, although, since, Okay, before, after, these are the different conjunctions. Please keep a rough notebook with you so you can note down the definitions. Okay, at least definitions you should note down because in the exams, the definitions are going to come. Difference between phrase and a clause, which we did in class six as well. <clears throat> 
phrase and clause both are group of words phrase is a group of words clause is a group of words but phrase doesn't have a subject and a verb clause has a subject and a verb but it does not give complete meaning both are different from a sentence because sentence gives complete meaning a complete sense but phrase and clause don't give complete meaning or sense the only difference if somebody asks you okay, what is the difference between a phrase and a clause so you can write you can tell a okay, phrase is a group of words which does not have a subject and verb clause is a group of words which has a subject and a verb in it okay for example if we if i say phrase phrase can be bad man dirty pillow dusty road around the world in a minute books on the ground okay these these are all phrases because these do not have any subject and any verb but clause is after i went to the party because it was raining so i took an umbrella okay uh, and the i saw a man these are all clauses because they have a subject as well as a verb okay because i was late so i ran fast while he was reading i is the subject was is the verb i is the subject ran is the verb he is the subject was reading is a verb so these are all clauses because they are not giving the complete meaning they're starting with a conjunction because so while okay these are the conjunctions the first type of conjunction is coordinating conjunction coordinating conjunction is used to join two simple sentences very easy definition somebody asks you okay, what is a coordinating conjunction coordinating conjunction is used to join two simple sentences or single words which represent clauses of the same level okay now students remember coordinating conjunctions are seven in number and i have given a hint if somebody remembers remember it from fan voice okay fan voice if you remember this fan voice you can remember the coordinating conjunction are seven in number yet but so for nor and and if you remember fan voice f is for for a is for and n is for nor b is for but o is for or y is for yet and s is for so so if you remember fan voice word you can remember all the seven coordinating conjunctions now look at the examples the bowl of stew is hot and delicious both at the same class or level so we have joined it with and the stew is so thick that you can eat it with a fork or spoon rocky my orange tom cat loves having his head scratched but hates getting his claws stripped Rocky terrorizes the bird next door yet adores the German shepherd across the street. <clears throat> Students look at this slide. Okay. Remember fan voice conjunctions with meanings and sentences. These are the all the coordinating conjunctions you can also note down in your rough copies. For is used in a meaning of because, okay? Sam drank some water for he was thirsty. why he drank water because he was thirsty we can also write it like this sam drank some water because he was thirsty but we can also write for so for is used in the meaning of because and in addition to ali and ahmed went to the market means both of them i uh, saw um i saw a lion and a zebra when i went to the zoo okay means in addition to i saw line as well as zebra nor means come in the negative manner not but means different however he is rich he is poor but generous he is rich but a miser a difference i ran fast but could not reach in time okay 
or means when you have a choice do question number 1 or question number 2 i yeah, buy blue worry. shirt or a black shirt please be attentive beta i'm repeating all this again we have discussed it on monday but i'm just repeating it for you people so that you can understand it when we will start the exercise tomorrow inshallah so please all of you be uh, present in the class then i will not explain the exercises again we will not do it again yet means but so means therefore um it was raining so i took an umbrella he is sick so he is not going to the school okay these are all coordinating conjunctions i repeat coordinating conjunctions are seven in number you can learn it from the word fan voice and they are used to link two simple sentences two simple sentences okay now the second is subordinating conjunction student subordinating conjunction is used for joining a complex sentence complex sentence is one which has two clauses one is called the independent clause and one is called the dependent clause in class 6 if you remember we did main clause and subordinate clause so dependent clause is the subordinate clause because it starts with a subordinating conjunction and main clause is the independent clause which starts with a subject yes roma yes roma आपने हमें लीडर के के क्वेश्चन आंसर्स भेजे थे लेकिन टीचर मुझे मुझे बुक में से से ए फर्स्ट चैप्टर के आंसर्स मिले थे तो टीचर मैं इनसे फर्स्ट चैप्टर के आऊंगी बेटा इंशाल्लाह आई विल राइट डाउन ऑल द क्वेश्चंस ना सो वी कैन डिस्कस इट इफ यू पीपल आर हैविंग एनी प्रॉब्लम लाइक सम स्टूडेंट्स हैव मोर क्वेश्चंस सम स्टूडेंट्स हैव लेस सो वी विल विल डिस्कस इट बिकॉज़ यू शुड हैव इक्वल नंबर ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस विद यू पीपल ठीक है I'll tell you all the questions which we are going to come in the exams, which you can prepare. Okay. Now, uh, I was telling you, dependent clause starts with a subordinating conjunction because it is dependent on the main clause. Like, if I'm starting a sentence with so, because, after, while, since, before, although, these are all dependent clauses. But if I start a sentence with a name. with any pronoun with a subject then it is an independent clause now you can see the example because he wouldn't wear a seat belt robin wasn't allowed in the back mobile any longer now student because he wouldn't wear a seat belt is a dependent clause because it is starting with a subordinating conjunction which is because okay robin wasn't allowed in the back mobile any longer is the main clause or the independent clause because it 